Welcome back to another Dragon Block C tutorial video, specifically on how to edit the configuration files. Now, I've been asked many times how you can make your character stronger using the configuration files. Now some people do know there is a cap within Dragon Block C. Your attributes and skills are only capped to 500. Now, if you want to go beyond that, you're going to use the configuration file to edit that. Now the game is also pretty grindy, so there are some tips to make it a little bit easier for you. There's multiple configuration files. Some specifically look at transformations. Some specifically look at different races. Like there is a Saiyan configuration file that allows you to change the base stat that you start off with. You can be much stronger by changing this configuration file than you would just playing the game normally. Finally, there's a configuration file that allows you to change Dragon Block items, including the sizes and speeds of some of the things, as well as Dragon Block mob health and attack points. So in addition to all this, I'm gonna show you some command line cheats that are useful, not just to kind of cheat your way through the game, but also useful to test out your configurations. And finally, if you wanna to skip to the very end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock Super Saiyan Rose Z. You have to unlock it using the command line to get divine power. If you wanna jump anywhere in the video, be sure to use the timestamps below. Now, if you find the video to be useful, please be sure to smash that like button. It helps get this video out to people like you looking for help. With that said, let's jump into the tutorial. First command you want to do is add some TP. Let's say you want to add some TP. You want to go ahead and forward slash J R M C and then you go TP to the end of that and then however much TP you want. So let's say we're going to do, I don't know, 9,999. You'll see the TP increase to 9,999. Okay, so now I haven't changed the config at all. Now one thing a lot of people like to do, especially as you get further in the game, is changing your max attributes. They're by default set to 500 max, so right now I haven't maxed anything out. I could go ahead and do that by typing this, max. So type in forward slash jrmca, set all max, click enter. All right, so everything should be maxed out here. If we click V again, you'll see my attributes are set to 500. That's the max right there. And a lot of people like to change this, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in the config files. All right, to access your config files, you want to open up the Minecraft folder. If you're not familiar with how to do that, on Windows, you just select the Windows button and R key. And that should pop up this little run window and just do percentage sign app data percentage sign backslash dot Minecraft. Click OK. And you should see the Minecraft folder right here. And that basically opens up your Minecraft folder. And in there, if you scroll down to config, it's in mine is in alphabetical order. So you'll see it up top. Go to config. Basically, you want to go ahead and find this file called Jinru JRM Core. That's going to be the main config file uh, for Dragon Block C. You're going to go ahead and go to Open With. If it's not already set to a Notepad, just go Open With and click Notepad or any word editor, and you should be able to open this up. And this has all your config settings, uh, or like basically your your main config settings, the ones that you want to change for max attributes and multipliers and TP costs. So I'll go ahead and go through some of the main ones that I think are very important. Now under general is probably the most important attribute you probably want to change, or at least I hear a lot of people want to change, which is changing the max attribute a player can have. Um, the default, as I mentioned before, is set to 500. And if you want to go further in the game, somewhere in the boost saga, I would highly suggest that you increase the max attribute. This is um, basically the attribute level that your strength, consciousness, mind, and spirit gets maxed out at. Now, if you go ahead and increase this to 1000, your melee and everything is going to increase respective to the multiplier that this is set to. Obviously, you want to save your file, otherwise it's not going to do anything. So just be aware. So let's go ahead and jump into the game and see what these changes actually do. Here we are back in our game after we changed the config files and let's go ahead and see what that did to our max attribute. You can see this was maxed out at 500 before. It's not grayed out and we can increase our strength. Let's go ahead and use the command to max out our stats. Go ahead and set this to max and it says everything has been maxed out. So open up the menu again and you'll see it's been grayed out so I can't increase anymore and our strength is now 1000, dex is 1000. Everything is set to 1000. So you can see the config file adjustments had actually worked here. You know, our max attributes have increased dramatically by twofold. You set this up to whatever number you want. Now if you go ahead and open up the Jinru Dragon Block C config file, it's gonna be Dragon Block specific in the terms of what gets spawned, uh, where spawns happen, speeds of, for example, the Nimbus Cloud, the Saiyan Space Pod, uh, a lot of things that change uh, things that you see within the game, for example, items and mobs themselves within the game and not necessarily uh, settings of your character. Here you have the flying Nimbus speed multiplier from 0 to 30. Uh, you can go ahead and change the speed of the flying Nimbus. Go ahead and change this to 5, 4, 3, whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 5. 
Something I think is pretty annoying is the Sensu cooldown. You know, if you use a Sensu Bean, you have 15 seconds before you use the next one. I think that's kind of annoying, so instead of 15 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and change that to 1. Why not? Like, I don't even know why you're waiting for it. The number of Sensu Beans you can get from corn, you know, typically you can only get one per day. So you can go ahead and change that to 5. You can go ahead and change the, the Dino Mob spawn rate. Um, right now it's set to 2. You go ahead and increase that to 5. In case you want to see more um, dinos, you can change the stat damage. You know, right now they're they're 40. You can change that. Uh, so they, they attack 40 damage and they have a health of 300. You can go ahead and change that to 30 if you're extremely weak. Again, progressing this game doesn't have to be you're just increasing your configuration files. You can go ahead and change the the health and the damage of certain mobs if that's easier for you or if you want to kind of change up your game that way. And you know, basically, same thing goes for most other mobs you can find around the world. So let's set the game mode to creative just to um, grab a, a flying nimbus and see what that does. Get our flying nimbus, let's get on here. And the way it goes up is really quick. Um, I don't believe it's that quick typically, although it doesn't seem like it's flying that fast. Actually, it's flying pretty quickly. So, I mean, it definitely goes up really, really quickly here. Um, under configs, under the config menu, there's this folder called Gen Games. Under there you'll see DBC and GRMC. Uh, if you go to DBC you'll see that there's something called forms and races. Forms you'll see an Ultra Instinct config file. This is specifically for Ultra Instinct form. I'm not going to go ahead and show that. I will show you races. Uh, for example, if you go to SAN, this is broken down in configs for per race. If you go to SAN, you will see some interesting things. I think your, your starting attributes. Um, you can go ahead and change this if you want. If you don't want to start at 15 or you want to start at 1500, go ahead and do so. You'll be stronger right off the bat. Uh, just be aware this is broken up and each config file is by race and then within the config file there is by your style of uh, fighting. So this is martial artist, there's also for spiritualist and then finally warrior. Go ahead and change that um, per your fighting style. So if you go ahead and change this from set of 15, it'll be 1500. Dex will be let's say 1000. Just adding um, two zeros to everything here. I'll just go ahead and do this. Uh, so if you want to kind of add a bonus from start you'll get that right off the bat and then you can also go ahead and change the multiplier instead of one here you can go ahead and do I don't know let's say we're gonna multiply by five each time just for strength actually for strength I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 15 so I can show you what that multiplier does okay so let's go ahead and check that out let me save this all right so I uh, start a new world here just to test out the same config file adjustments we just made uh, we're gonna go ahead and click a sane here and remember we changed it for martial artist power type or fighting style so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I'm at martial artist here you'll see the melee damage is way increased uh, sorry the, the defense body and action time key power max key whatever is way increased so you can see the statistics has changed and the starting attributes has changed you'll see the starting attributes uh, besides strength which we left default 15 everything else has increased dramatically now this side-by-side -side comparison is just showing you what that five times multiplier does to the base melee stat as you can see it multiplies it by five so I increased the melee attribute here from 2.5 to 100. Let's go ahead and save that uh, and see what that does. You'll see that the dex, uh, con, and will, and all and the rest of them besides strength have been uh, changed as we set in the config file for a race. You can see the melee damage is multiplied by 100. You can see the strength has remained at 15, yet the melee damage has increased dramatically. Um, you'll notice that dex is at 1500. Recall that the max limit that we set was only 1000s, and so if we click next, you'll notice that the dex is actually only set to 1000 because that 1500 was beyond the max limit. So if you actually want it to be 1500, you can have to go back into the max limit in the, in the JRM core config file and increase it. Typically, most people won't probably be that high, but just be aware of um, whatever numbers you set in other config files, if it's anything above the max limit, max limit takes priority, you need to kind of go back and change that first. So the reason why the TP cost is so high is because of level. You notice the level is 992, and that's because your stats over here are just so high. Um, now, if you set these to default stats but increase your statistics, that'll be a way that you can keep increasing without the TP being so high. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So if we did everything, uh, if we set everything back to default, you'll see the melee damage is 49, so that's 70 something. Click accept, and then let's power up. You'll notice our melee damage is at 24, much lower than what we had before. Uh, if we give ourselves some TP and we increase it, you'll notice your increase by one here, now increases by two, and then one again, then by two, then by one, that's by two. So if we go again, it's at 36. So 
36 times 2 is 72. Obviously we're at half because we're only at 50% here. Anyway, it gets kind of confusing. You just need to kind of test out, see what it gives you. Obviously there's a lot to test out here. But I'm just going to give you some tips on how you can improve and change your configs to make it a little bit less grindy and easier for you and a little bit more enjoyable hopefully. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, Super Saiyan Rosé. All right, now the last thing I want to show everybody is how to get Super Saiyan Rosé, because that's kind of cool form, and I don't think you can naturally get it throughout the game. Um, you have to type in a command line. I'll show that in a second. First thing you need is you will need uh, Super Saiyan God, so let's go over to Whis, where you're going to get that. And let's go ahead and learn. Just need God form here. No need for Ultra Instinct, so try to transform. Let's go to X. Um, Super Saiyan form. No, we don't want that. Let's level up here. You see we have Super Saiyan God, but we have nothing beyond that. Typically if you open up the menu um, and go to skills, you have God Form level 1. You can go ahead and increase that to God, level, God Form level 2 um, and even 3 here. Now, if I try to keep increasing this, I'm just going to turn it into blue and then kind of that Ultra Form uh, Super Saiyan Blue. I, I do not have Rosé. Even if you go and change your, where is it, even if you go ahead and change your uh, alignment from good to evil, you won't become Super Saiyan Rosé. I'm not going to do that right now, but you need to turn on Divine through the command line. So go ahead and show you how to do that. If you, let's just power down real quick. Now if you go ahead and type JRM and you set that JRMCSE set put this to divine one so on the upper hand left corner you get this icon that shows that you have kind of divine status add it to your game uh by adding it you can also remove it if you want or you'll lose it if you die but if you want to remove it you just go ahead and divine to zero and that should remove it so right there divine one okay so now we got it and if you go ahead and to your action menu over here you'll see that you have super saiyan form change the super saiyan forms you'll see you have super saiyan form ss rose now so Go ahead and transform into your Super Saiyan God mode. And then if you keep going, you'll get Super Saiyan Rosé. Just like that. Easy breezy. Super Saiyan Rosé. Um, and if you want to go into the form beyond that, nice and bulky Super Saiyan Rosé mode. That's that level 3 unlocked of God mode. So there we go. Super jam-packed, uh, super buff Super Saiyan Rosé. Yeah, that's pretty much it on uh, how to get Super Saiyan Rosé. Hopefully you learned something in terms of how to config stuff, how to make a faster flying Nimbus, a uh, weaker Dino, um, and whatnot. Also, the most important thing is how you increase your max attribute, because I hear a lot of people trying to increase their max attribute. The default is just too weak to progress in the game, in my opinion, but uh, to each their own. Simple as that. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Happy to help. Join my Discord, um, and I could chat there as well. Just leave in the comments. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. See ya.